The Commission on Elections, or Comelec Second Division, is expected to decide over a COC cancellation case against former Senator Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. in the coming days. Dante Amento tells us why live. Uh, yes, Dante, good evening. Go ahead. Good evening, uh, William. In an order promulgated by the Comelec Second Division last December 13, the poll body has ordered the petitioners and respondent to file their respective memorandum over a petition to cancel presidential aspirant Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr.'s Certificate of Candidacy or COC. Both parties were given five days to submit their memorandum or response upon receipt of the order, after which the case is deemed submitted for resolution or the commissioners in charge will decide whether or not Marcos should be allowed to run in 2022 elections. The COC cancellation case was filed by human rights group defenders, represented by former Supreme Court spokesman attorney Theodor Te. The petitioners confirmed they received the order, but the Marcos's camp has yet to respond. Meanwhile, the petitioners plea for the Comelec to Salmon, BIR, and Quezon City RTC for the release of documents of the alleged non-payment of taxes and filing of income tax returns by Marcos was denied. The poll body also rejected Marcos's camp request for face-to-face -face oral arguments on the case. The COMELEC explains clarificatory hearing and the addition of more evidence are not longer necessary and this would only result to unnecessary delay for the resolution of the case. William, there are currently seven petitions against Marcos before the poll body, including four petitions for disqualification, two petitions to cancel COC, and one petition seeking to declare Marcos as nuisance candidate. And that's our latest live from Quezon City. Back to you, William. Yes, uh, thank you. Dante Amento reporting live, Quezon City.